Think, reflect, and change. There's no such thing as something for nothing. You gotta give in order to get. Some of the things, people, places, habits in your life right now, they are holding you back, numbing you instead of awakening you. And the first thing you need to give up is your comfort zone. There are lessons that no classroom or textbook can ever give you. And they come from things like an empty stomach, an empty bank account, and countless sleepless nights. It's just that real. The Bhagavad Gita talks about this. You're right, it's only to the work. You're right, it's only to the effort, the growth, not the fruit or the outcome. So control what you can. Like an athlete who gives everything on the field, the warrior on the battlefield. Once your act is done, it's done and you move on. You can dream about it, or you can do it. It's not failure that you need to worry about, it's doubt, fear, anxiety. Be mindful of a little friend we all know called resistance. Resistance to doing the things you know you could. Resistance to leaving your friends behind and getting back to work. You need to turn these situations of tension into situations of profound peace. Focus on the work, not what dragons you think may or may not be beaten ahead. Are you a part-time player or are you a pro playing all out, all in, showing up every single day, planning which goal is happening when, finding good teachers, developing yourself, committing your time, your energy, your efforts to growth every single day, staying quiet, humble, eliciting feedback so you can evolve and letting go of what no longer serves you. I just don't want you to half ass things anymore. I don't want you to wait around for the perfect time or perfect moment because newsflash, there isn't one ever anywhere in your life. I want you to be totally committed and all in or not at all. If you don't like a restaurant, leave. If the book you're reading is boring, close it. If the path isn't right, change direction. You are not a tree fixed with its roots in one place. Human beings, we have this unique ability to think, reflect and change. But most of us have become like these dead broken trees with no leaves. Our environment isn't right, we're not being nourished, we're alive, but we are not living anymore, we aren't stimulated anymore, we aren't fulfilling our path anymore. Those limits you think that are there, they exist only in your mind. And if you can just break free of inertia, of the illusory nature of the thoughts swirling and swaying inside you, I promise you, you can get to a better place. So think, reflect, and change. There's no limits, just levels. And your job is to constantly keep going beyond them over and over and over. We're talking about the evolution of your own soul. What has gone before you and lies ahead of you. It's tiny, minuscule compared to what is beaming and beating inside of you. Tap into that power. Tap into the spiritual strength inside. You're staring down at your feed when you have the starry heavens, not just above, but inside you, beating with every breath, radiating the entire world around you. And mate, your universe, your identity, it exists in systems. Find it reflected there. So the books you read, the room you sleep in, the habit that starts your day, the friends you speak to, and the things that you throw your energy towards. What you feed yourself now, today, is who you will be tomorrow.